Yes, guys, what is good, everybody? Hope we're all doing all right. And with Liverpool taking on Nottingham Forest in the Premier League tomorrow at 2 o'clock, I've just come on here to do a little quick preview ahead of that big game as part of game week 10. Now, Liverpool looking to maintain their unbeaten start this set of fixtures after a 2-0 win against Everton and more recently a 5-1 demolition of Toulouse in the Europa League. It's integral that we go on to get that three points off that turnaround. That last time that we were in this turnaround where we had Europa Europa League on a Thursday and then the league on the Sunday we dropped points against Brighton and it ended in a 2-2 draw just before the last international break so it is so important for Liverpool to maintain that momentum and keep it going with a win and I think with a win against Forest which won't come easy by the way because they have the tools at their disposal to dispatch um, you know, goals and opportunities and moments to galvanise upon our weaknesses. Because let's be frank, we haven't been strong defensively. And yes, we're scoring goals and that's all brilliant. You've got Graham and Bitch it's hitting form. And yes, it's a case of Nottingham Forest should be more worried about what we have to offer. But in regards to defensively, there are deficiencies within our game that Nottingham Forest have the ability to exploit. And with the right players like Morgan Gibbs White, Tyrell Wani, uh, and you know, those types of players, you know, you've obviously got Divock Origi sentiment as well around this fixture and if he's brought into the field of play is it destined he's going to score I'd, I'm not really buying so much into that but I think that Nottingham Forest have, an, have a knack of crafting opportunities at um, and peculiar times uh, which will you know obviously go against the grain I mean look at the last time we played Nottingham Forest about this time last year uh, and that was at the city ground it ended up being a 1-0 win with I believe it was Tyro Wani and please correct me if I'm wrong a former Liverpool player scoring the winner for the Forest on that day so look I'm not um, you know going to get carried away with this fixture it is going to be difficult it's going to see this squad tested and over a longer period of time we're going to see Liverpool struggle and we're going to see them suffer in these moments where turnaround time is going to be difficult. We've got, uh, you know, games every three days now up until the next international break. So that's going to take its toll on these players eventually. If we don't see it so, uh, you know, soon, we will eventually see that. And hopefully it doesn't really deviate from um, our current affairs and, we, we, you know, our winning streak and our momentum going forward where we seem to pick up the points and Obviously, we have to take the positives out of that situation. But I hope as time does tell, we do not see a situation where, you know, injuries pick up and you know, we start dropping points or whatever. But look, let's stick to tomorrow's game. Look, Liverpool are in good form. Forest at the moment looking to try to get a little bit of momentum, a little bit of form. They come into Anfield and look, if you're a Forest fan looking into this game, from their perspective, they think, oh, it's the worst place we can go. Uh, for, for an away fixture at Anfield. We know how good Liverpool are at that stadium. Haven't been beaten there so far in this calendar year. Touch wood. Um, but you've obviously got that fear but then as well from a Liverpool perspective. Well, we played on Thursday night. Yeah, we're playing on Sunday at two o'clock. You know, can, we've got to, you know, utilise those options. That's why Jurgen Klopp went for such a youth, uh, you know, academy-filled side and squad in that Thursday match. You know, we've seen the likes of McDonnell. Uh, we've seen, you know, Kwanzaa come into the to action. Luke Chambers start a left-back. Um, you know, there's, so there's going to be rotation. There's going to be... Um, you know, that which is expected. I expect Mo Salah to come back into the mix. Gakpo, I think, could get a start um, with both players that I just alluded to. They're getting cameo performances on Thursday. Uh, and then you've obviously got the likes of Soboslai, who was rested on Thursday as well. So Jurgen Klopp, I think, is resting the bright players at the right time. You've obviously got Van Dijk to add to that mix as well. Alisson also. So Liverpool can make, uh, uh, you know, changes in abundance. But I think when we make so many changes, will that affect our momentum? Quite potentially, that could could affect the, the the game on Sunday and that could have implications of their own if we do go behind. I mean, we've seen it quite frequently so far this season where when we do go behind, yes, we have, you know, you know the 14 on our side and the quality at our disposal to overturn what is usually a slow start. But I think with momentum and starting strong, as I alluded to when I went on the COP TV on Thursday post to lose game, I think starting strong will be important for us to just get the job done tomorrow. And I don't want to see us get, you know, you know, I don't, I'd, look, I'd rather just see us pick up the three points. If that means the scrappiest game, then I will take it. But going into that, you know, complacency that I seen when we played against Brighton, it was kind of just like we were just coasting throughout the game. 
I don't think that's uh, effective and I don't think that will um, you know, get us the three points tomorrow. I think we need a bit more than that. We need to show a little bit more quality, a bit more control. Uh, and I think that comes with putting intensity and putting pace on the ball. What I've noticed over the last few weeks is that sometimes when Liverpool lose a bit of control on the game, it's because we haven't got enough intensity on the ball and we're not moving it about. And yeah, you can kind of credit the opposition and if they're kind of forcing the errors and slowing us down to kind of accommodate their progress on the game, you have to give them credit. But I think in order for us to kind of get the best out of Salah, get the best out of Cody Gakpo, we know he's a good link-up player. You've obviously got um, the likes of Sobosly, who we know is going to drive the ball forward, same as Gravenberch. We need to start putting pace on these balls and giving these boys the delivery. Um, so when you culminate the delivery with the speed and the pace and the matchup, it's a, it becomes a no contest because Forrest can't cope. I don't believe, and that's not that doesn't just stand for Forrest as a, as, a, as, a, as a whole. That stands for the whole league. Any team, I think, if we put intensity on the ball and put pace on the pass, uh, you know, teams will struggle to live with us. And um, look, Jurgen Klopp will know how to manage his games. He's been in this in this role for so long now. Uh, obviously, you won't believe Thursday to Sunday is something that, yes, we're not quite as familiar with, but you'd have to expect that Jurgen Klopp will feel the best team possible to go on and win the game. Now, how I think this game will go, I think Liverpool will make those changes. I think it'll be a slower start, but I expect Liverpool to go ahead. I, I think Liverpool will go ahead. I think we've got enough quality on that pitch, despite the rotation. Uh, and, you know, against a Forest side who, yes, will probably look to start strong. Um, you know, I think we'll we'll have to just kind of ride the storm and then try and pounce before half time, get a goal, and I think as the game will progress, then Liverpool will put distance between them and Forest, and then they'll start to build a bit of pace um, and just see the game out, get the three points, rest and rotate. Because we've obviously got Bournemouth then in the Carabao Cup. And yes, Jurgen Klopp will have that at the back of his mind. But not only will rotation be inevitable in that game, because he never really um, you know, keeps to the same strong starting lineup as he does in the league to when he goes into the Carabao Cup. But obviously, he'll start thinking uh, about potentially rotating to give some players that week off or give some players that additional rest uh, when you, you know, for them to come back to go travel down to the South Coast and play Bournemouth on Wednesday. So, um, yeah, guys, that is my uh, prediction for the game. In regards to score prediction, I'm going to go for a 3 0 Liverpool win. I did go for 3 0 against Toulouse. Yeah, we won 5 1. So I'm expecting a 5 1. Nah, I'm going to I, I think Liverpool need to. To just get the win tomorrow. If that's a 1 0, then I'll be happy. If that's a 5 1 again, I will be equally as happy. So, um, look, it's important. Just get the win done, get the job done, Jurgen, and let's push on. Now, guys, get involved with your comments. What do you think ahead of tomorrow's fixture against Forest? Do you believe we make many changes? And what, what do you, how do you see the game going uh, with those? Uh, changes do they have any implications on how the game will go let me know guys i'd love to uh, to hear what you have to say but take care guys i'll see you all very soon and uh, yeah a bit more content on the channel over the next few days so see you in a bit take care bash